timid and shy my ass. Kobene is a nervous ball of angst, waiting for the panic to inevitably consume her soul. And can you fucking blame her? That family of hers put her into a real Sophie's choice. Either A, become a sex worker, B, go hunt devils, or C, choose neither, probably get disowned and end up selling your body anyways. And holy shit, does this episode paint her in the most horrible of lights. But that's what makes this episode so fucking good. Let's face it, some episodes exist purely to elicit some type of emotion, to pull on the viewer's heartstrings and make the scene feel more relatable. Happiness, sorrow, anger, fear. Invoking these emotions helps create a stronger connection between the story and the viewer, with the ultimate goal of having someone not just observe, but experience. So what did I experience in this episode? Pure, unadulterated anxiety. Honestly, watching the scenes with Kobene reminds me of the movie Joker. Step by step, you're literally watching a two hour long movie of someone going insane. But this is Kobene's all is lost moment. Bit by bit, piece by piece, we are watching a human being being broken down before our very eyes. In fact, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, yeah, that's four out of the five stages of grief. If only Kobene would accept the fact that Denji is the protagonist, so he's probably not gonna die this soon. Well, die again. Y'all know what I mean. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be a shit show for me to go back and edit, trying to source all of Kobene's expressions to truly capture her despair. And yet I march on. But it's not just Kobene that gets a little taste of the doom and gloom. No, Arai is manic. And after seeing Aki stabbed, Himino's switch was flipped, going from the cool cucumber to the teary-eyed damsel in distress. In fact, the only human keeping a cool head was Aki himself, realizing feeding Denji to eternity is a shit plan. Let's be real, you just can't trust a devil. What about our oddities? Well, power is a fiend, and it seems devils truly delight in others' misery. Even so, when she started busting out laughing at Kobene, it was both equal parts hilarious and cringe. Like, what an awkward fucking moment she put us in. And what about Denji? Well, when you experience one of the worst lives you can imagine, shit really doesn't phase you. So when there's a good possibility for being trapped for all eternity and starving to death, Denji decides his best course of action is to sleep. Wake up, Denji. Nap time's over. You know what's on the line. This is your first step in defeating the gun devil and getting that sweet, sweet nookie from Makama. Not to mention playing seven minutes in heaven with Himino with an extra side of tongue. Which leads us to my favorite scene of this episode. A frantic scene of utter chaos. Both Arai and Kabene believe the best course of action is to sacrifice Denji. Aki believes his only choice is to unleash his sword. A move Himino believes is unadvisable, as the cost for that contract is a chunk of Aki's life. Of course, as this inner turmoil is tearing the group apart, power is so innocently cheering on Denji's death. She honestly don't give a fuck. Of course, with Kobene stuck between a rock and a hard place, the choice is obvious for her. Taking matters into her own hands, she decides to stab Denji. But in the last moment, Aki jumps in the blade's way. What a pickle we've got ourselves into now. The leader of this ragtag group of outcasts is bleeding. The effortlessly cool facade of Himino begins to fade. A moment you begin to realize that there may be something more between these two than their addiction to nicotine. Arai and Kobene are team death to Denji. And of course, power is no fucking help. Well, what's a boy to do? How about jump into the mouth of a devil, chainsaws revving? This is not a moment of self-sacrifice. Denji's dreams hang in the balance. And it just so happens the eternity devil is standing in his way. Once again, another episode that surpasses my expectations. And once again, showcases how truly unique all of these devils are. I mean, the possibility of being trapped in a shitty motel for all of eternity, while there's an ever-growing pile of flesh feeding off your fears, makes the hotel from The Shining feel like a Hilton. Nah, fuck that shit. Give me the creepy twins in the red rum any day of the week. My man got balls of steel to take that leap of faith. But here's Denji. Anyways, what did you guys think of this episode? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? Well, I do. So with all that being said, and more Chainsaw Man next week, I cannot wait for future episodes.